Anyway, you can go to my, you can go to your Alexa and you can ask it. CERN's going to depopulate the Earth. You ask, all you got to say is when does the government plan on depopulating the Earth? It will say they are in the act right now of depopulating the Earth. People are going to say, oh, he's high, he's high, he's high. No, they want to kill 95% of the people on America, that lives in America right now. They want to kill 95%. Do you know how many people that is? That's 7 billion people. And no, I'm not high because I work a 70 hour a week and I look like I'm high. I'm tired. Maybe I smoked a joint, but I don't do anything else. But I'm telling you right now, guys, you better get right with God. We are living the biblical ends of time. Anything you go buy, any kind of food, anything, they are poisonous. All this stuff right here is poison. You can go to London, you can go to Europe, anywhere. It does not have all that crap on the back of it. It don't. Food City the other day, their meat had worms in it. They are poisoning us. Any kind of pork that you eat, pour coke on it first. See if worms come out. Our brains are full of worms. I'm telling you, you guys are going to think I'm crazy. But ask your Alexa when the government... Ask Alexa, say, when's the government plan on starting the depopulation? They'll say it's an act right now, Agenda 30, and agenda by agenda, by year 2030, they plan on having the world depopulated by 95%. That's 7, 7 billion dead people. That leaves 1 billion people alive, so we probably got 1 billion billionaires, and it's probably all Hitler's grandkids, I'm sure. Because we ain't standing up doing nothing, we're a very weak generation. I don't know what happened, this generation grew up, I'm talking about... Weaker than puppy piss, man. I, I, I've been trying to get people to group up for 10 years now. Okay, now, CERN, after the government gets through depopulating, CERN's going to come in and take over the roadway. We know what CERN is. That's China. They're going to come in take over our roads, take over our water, take over our electric, take over our food supply. They're taking the land. They're taking everything. And this is what... Alexa is telling us they're so strong now. They're not even trying to lie to us. They're telling us what they're going to do before they do it. They are getting ready to come in. They're going to come to your door in little blue suits. Uh, it's not just Mexico coming. Mexico coming over that border. We got Russia. We got China. In Cuba right now, China is building nuclear bombs. We've never had another country build nuclear bombs. We have China building nuclear bombs and we're doing nothing. But getting on our phones and making stupid kitty cat videos, dog videos. You're gonna wake up one morning, the lights are gonna be off, and nobody's gonna have any dry foods because nobody's getting ready for this shit. Nobody's getting ready, we're all broke because everything's so high. Thank God I started prepping 10, 15 years ago because I knew this was coming. They're telling you to watch the waters, nobody's doing it. Nobody's listening to anything that's going on right now. We got a notification on the phone the other day that said, do not use the water unless you boil it first. Man, when this stuff, look, everything it said in the Bible is happening. The sea turned red. Uh, the uh, seven angels. Uh, all the storms, the hurricanes. Trump. Jim Clement, the prophet of God, said he'd be impeached. He'd be impeached, but nay. Everybody thinks Trump ain't president right now, but he never conceded. People don't understand that. And he's going to run again. And this next president we get will be the last president we ever have in the United States of America. This last president, the prophet of God, Kim Clement, before he died, he said, we will follow this president into Israel and that will be the new America, the Gentiles will. That means us. We will follow this last president. So here's what the last president is. It says, keep two pairs of shoes on you and keep bags. Keep bags packed and ready. We've got our bags packed and ready. So whenever they come up in our yard, I'm going to knock them back. Because when you got 30 or 40 National Guards coming up in your yard, the AR-15 ain't going to knock them back. You're going to have to have something out there to blow them back. Blow them back so you can take off out the back door. It don't matter if you got tar foot, you got put it together and get up on the mountain, get up in the woods somewhere and camp out until this shit is over like the Wolverines. I don't know. But the shit's going down. They're killing us with the food. The food that you're eating, everything has something in it. You can look at our ingredients and then look at London's look at uh, look at Africa's look at anybody else's ingredients they don't have half this shit it's all poison and now they're doubling it up they're putting nanos on the tampons they're putting nanos on rubbers so you're going out here and you're screwing these people with these rubbers on you're passing around the coronavirus anybody you go out and have sex with right now 
and you don't wear a condom, and you ask them, hey, have you been vaccinated? Because I know if I sing them before I screw anybody, I'm going to ask them, hey, you been vaccinated? They've been vaccinated. Get the hell out of my car. I'm sorry. I'm not down with that. Because it don't matter if you use a condom or not. You're going to still get it because they're putting down the condoms. Women, they're telling women not to use maxi pads or tampons because nanos are in it. The mask that you wear over your face, I've done this myself. Because I was standing on TikTok. I tuck it and light it on a cup of steaming water. A regular old surgical mask. When you walk in those doctor's offices, they tell you to put them on. I laid one over a cup of steaming water and watched black things stand up out of it and move. That's those nanos going up in your nose. They're putting it in everything. Like I told my wife, stop wearing tampons, man. They said they're in the tampons. Do not wear them. They're putting it in the toothpaste. They're putting it in the rain. They control the weather, man. We are living the biblical ends of time. But they said this last president will come out with a stone in his hand. And when I first watched this five, six years ago, I thought they were talking about Roger Stone. But they said this president will come out with a stone in his hand. And everybody in the streets, oil will fill the streets. The streets will be covered in oil. And they will laugh and they will throw rocks at him. But then they will all fall to their knees and start weeping. Because they will know only the smartest man in the world could have made that stone. And it could only have been God. And it says keep two pairs of shoes and plenty of socks in you at all times. Because this last president that we have we will follow into Israel. And that will be the new America. When all this happens, there will be no more London. London will be gone. It will be knocked off the map. California's already... You know, California once used to be an island. I guess it floated into the United States, so they made it the United States. But California will be there no more. And we have all these people moving to Tennessee. I live in Tennessee. We have all these people moving to Tennessee, and they're so rude. They're coming from California, and they're turning Tennessee into a pile of dog shit. That's what's happening. But it's not just going to happen in Tennessee, it's going to happen in every state. All these trash is going to come to us. And then when martial law starts, us southern boys, we got stuff to knock them back with. But like people getting on here saying, you're high on dope, you're high on this. No, I'm not high on nothing, I'm high on Jesus. I know what's about to happen. I'm high on life. I want to keep my kids and my wife and my mother and everybody alive. No, I'm not high. I'm high on what's going on in life. I'm high on keeping my family alive. I'm high on keeping my family fed, keeping dry foods in this house. I'm high on staying prepped. That's what I'm high on. And I'm high on waking people up. And people are not waking up, and that's the damn problem. You know, I ain't been on this damn YouTube in probably six, probably, I don't know, eight, nine months, if not longer, because I gave up. I kept trying to get people to group up. I said, message me on my Facebook. Casey L. Bowman. It's not hard, Casey Bowman. Me holding my wife. Go to Casey Bowman, message me on Messenger. Let's group up, let's we'll talk about building bunkers, getting ready for this shit. There ain't nobody trying to do nothing. We got World War III coming. Everybody thinks a UFO invasion's about to happen. It's not happening. It's all government plan. Yeah, we probably got reptilians. And we probably do got aliens. But we ain't got no alien invasion coming, I promise you. It's gonna, they plainly, Kim Clement said this before he died. And plenty of other prophets of God have said this. It's going to be our fighter jets. Same way as they took down the World Trade Center. Those were bombs. I seen the video when it first happened. There was like 20 people two blocks away with cell phones on the top of the roof of their apartments. And they pointed it right at the World Trade Centers. And you could see the bombs going off, going down the building. Not one plane. And as the news was saying, planes were hitting the World Trade Center. All the people on the roof were saying, there's not a plane nowhere to be found. It was holograms. That was no plane. That was green screen for the media because the media is all fake. Everything on the news is fake. Everything. You cannot trust the Republicans or the Democrats. The only thing you can do right now is be independent and hope this next president is going to ride it out and hope we make it through this. But I'm telling you right now that the media green screen the World Trade Center falling because I've seen it on YouTube. I watched the video two days after the guy shared it on YouTube and there's like 20 of them that shared it down there and it showed the bombs. It was a demolition explosion is what it was and they brought them both down. There was not one plane that hit it. So when this alien invasion happens, it's going to be our fighter jets with holograms around it. Like all the shit you're seeing in the sky now, how they made the fireworks shoot 
There wasn't not one fucking firework blasted, not one piece of fire up under that firework. It was holograms, and that's what they're going to do when it happens with aliens. When you see aliens coming to your door, it's going to be our army members dressed up like aliens. I'm telling you what's going to happen if it ain't the people in the little blue suits. Now, if China shows up at your door, if they show up with a yellow piece of paper, that means you're going to a work camp. You shows up with a red piece of paper, you're going to the guillotine. They're going to chop your head off. They show up with a blue piece of paper, that means they're going to let you stay at home, but you got to do everything they tell you. Little blue suits are going to be the China people. It's coming to your front door. They are depopulating, exterminating right now. I ask Alexa, you can go to your gov.com. It will tell you also to get prepared for a zombie apocalypse. I know you don't believe me, but go to, uh, go to gov.com, whatever state you live in, like Tennessee, gov.com, you can type it in, type in, type in zombie prep, and it will have people on there telling you that when the dead wakes up, keep a utility knife on you at all times, house mom, it said housewives, it said because if you see the walking dead coming towards you, the only way you can stop them is by decapitating them, cutting their heads off. What's it say, honey? On TennesseeGov.com? CDC. What? CDC on TennesseeGov.com. What's it say? Put a uh, utility knife on, on your house Why? Well, in case the dead start walking again. They are, they're working on it right now in a factory how to put a virus out to turn people into zombies. They have been training our kids for how long now? That's all they do is play Walking Dead, Red Dead. If you beat Red Dead Redemption at the end, you're killing zombies. But they, the government is telling us to prepare for a zombie apocalypse. I shared this five, six years ago on TikTok. Got permanently banned. I ain't done beginning on TikTok in two, three years. I'm talking about it's permanently banned from my phone. Every phone I get is permanently banned. So if, I, if I make a new email, it's permanently banned. I shared the burrow. You can go to Roku and go to the search bar if you got Roku only. And put B U R R O W and it will show you it'll take you right to the red pill. You wanna take the red pill, type in B U R R O W Burrow. A rabbit. No, a red pill will pop up and then a rabbit will pop up. Then a bunch of different shows. They make McDonald's chick nuggets chicken nuggets are made out of sawdust and pink slime. I'm telling you, Tylenol was made to give you cancer. Oh my god, there's so much stuff I could tell you people. I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter now. It doesn't matter. They have already started exterminating. They have tunnels all over. They have started exterminating. What did Alexa say today, honey? No, about the... What I, what I, yeah. The agenda 20 and 30? Agenda 30 and 50. 30 and I can't remember. By 2030, they want to have 95% of the population... By the year 2030, yeah. And by the year 2050, they want to have it all done and reset up. I guess have it fixed like the Jetsons. I don't fucking know. But by year 2030, and what are what year are we in right now? 23. We're close to it. So, but I ask. I said, when is this plan plan on happening? How they plan on doing it? Go to my reels. It's all in my reels. And uh, they said after the depopulation, they said it has already begun. They said. They want to depopulate 95% of the earth. That's 7 billion people. At least 1 billion people left. I guarantee you that 1 billion people is kin to Hitler. All the people that's taking us down. The media is ran by all Hitler's grandkids, the Rothschilds. We're screwed. There's no one going to save us. No one's coming to save us. You better pray to God that the right person wins and get right with God. And for all you people who get in here and call me a junkie, call me a conspiracy theorist, I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn. I got a kid. I've got a little daughter. And right here, I want you to listen to this right here. You ready? A marked increase from the current population of 5.3 million. Alexa, repeat. I said, does the government plan on According to the plan, the government will bolster infrastructure and social programs to accommodate a projected population of 6.5 million to 6.9 million by 2030, a marked increase from the current population of 5.3 million. That's an increase. 
That's why I'm taking this out by 2030. Go to my reels and check it out. Go to my reels. It says that CERN's going to take over. The, it says after the depopulation, as the depopulation is going on, CERN's going to take over the roadways, the traffic lights, the land, the water, the food. All this is, and I said, when's this going to happen? It says it's all in play right now. It's all moving and it's all happening right now. Get prepared. Get right with God. World War III is happening. We got China and Cuba building nuclear bombs. Uh, they just sent a wave of bombs over to Ukraine. Cluster bombs. They're about to mess us up. Better get prepared and get ready. I tried to get people to group up for 10 years. I couldn't do it. If there's a group out there somewhere, message me on Messenger. Uh, message me at Gator Security on What's Up app. I don't care, man. It's going down. Like I said, my bags are on the wall. I'm ready. I am ready. That's all my bags right there. That is my, that's my bags right there. That's just half of them. I got tents that hold up 20 people. I got tents that hold five people. I got tents with them. Man, I got a lot of stuff. Tarp. You want stuff to barter with. You want stuff to barter with. These right here are good to chop people with. If I got the CDC telling me prepare for zombie a couple of if I oh I got yeah it's like brown tobacco whiskey to barter with you want Brent don't I messed up you got vodka that's not good to barter with you want rope I got throwing axes I got uh, tomahawks I got man I got so much stuff it's it's unbelievable I got my wife matching pairs that look like Mortal Kombat not these these are throwing axes but I got her throwing stars I got her everything get weapons get AR-15 these right here are corn cutters. They're about 80, 40, something like that bucks. Brush knife. And look, it extends out. It will come out and extend out. When it extends out, it's a brush knife. Get a zombie right by the head, just like that right there. And yank them back. But it plainly says on TennesseeGov.com, it says prepare for a zombie apocalypse. They're trying to make something, probably something like Will Smith played in. They're trying to make something to get the zombies. They're wanting to kill us. They're only going to leave one billion people on this earth. But you can see I'm prepared. I'm ready. And when you see them coming up in your yard, what you need to do is you need to put something out there in your yard. Because when the National Guard comes, <coughs> they're going to take you and put you in a FEMA camp. Or they're going to decapitate you. And they're not going to be nice about it. Oh, no. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to have some napalm. I don't know what. But whenever you see them coming through your yard, you want to have something at the front door so you can knock them back. It's going to stun them. You and your family have you a hole cut in the floor, have you a hole cut in the floor, or go out the back door after you make a big explosion, go out, out front of your house, go out the floor, or go out the back door, and hit the woods, and make sure you take all your bags. Have you a little car parked on the other side of the road, or a dirt bike, or a four-wheeler, and have a meet-up spot. Like for all your older kids, your mom, your family, like my son, that's got his own house. He knows to put the refrigerator, cover up all the windows, wait on me. I will be there. My sisters, they know to wait on me. I'll be there to get them. Everybody else lives here with me, so I have to go around and pick everybody up. But make a meet-up spot for everybody because your phones are not going to be working. You need to go get you a handheld radio. Prep now. Get dry food. What? Yeah, a satellite phone, too. And get you an emergency radio. I got that. If you go down to my tick, if, if I've not made a YouTube video in years, and probably a year and a half, not longer. But the reason why I stopped making YouTube videos, everybody kept saying, oh, you're high, you're high, because I'm telling what's happening. Man, they're telling us on the news that they're killing us. You can ask your Alexa now. Yeah, we want to kill 95% of America. A lot of people don't know what that is. That's 8 billion people of us. That means there's going to be 1 billion people left. And I guarantee you, out of those 1 billion people... I guarantee you every one of them are kin to Hitler. Or the Rothschilds, or the rest of them. I think they're all one person. Look at them. They're all putting suits on. But I'm telling you right now, when the alien invasion happens, it's going to be fake. It's going to be our army, just like it was when they took down the World Trade Centers. Get prepared, get ready, and get right with God. And if anybody out there has got any nuts, group up and message me. You know what? I'm going to stop saying it, because I've been saying that forever, and there ain't nobody doing nothing. So, I'm telling you right now, don't trust the government for nothing. Don't trust the government for anything. Be independent until you start seeing good things happening. Over and out. Get right with God, guys. It's coming. It's coming to our front door.